Hello, sharks. My name is Yan Young. And I'm his younger brother, Peter Young. Our business is How Do You Roll? We are seeking $1 million for 12% of our company. How Do You Roll is a fast, casual restaurant where you can get sushi rolls made to order just the way you like it. Before we came onto the scene, if you wanted sushi, you really only had two choices. Option number one was to go to a fancy sit-down sushi restaurant where you had to dress right, you had to smell right, you gotta like techno music, and <laughs> this can be fun occasionally if you wanna spend more money than you actually have trying to impress people you really don't like. <laughs> so that leaves you with your second option. You go down to the local grocery store, you get a pre-made roll made fresh daily, you just don't know which day of the week it was actually made. The quality is just subpar. And because of Jen's horrible experience, we started the sushi revolution three years ago with just one location in Austin, Texas. We've taken the same food quality you get at a high-end restaurant and paired it with the convenience of the grocery store. Unpretentious, good food in a fast, casual environment. So we want you to experience this for yourself. So Barbara, we would like to actually invite you up How so that nice you can create this? your own sushi roll. All right, Barbara, whenever you go to How Do You Roll, uh, first thing you want to do is pick mm -hmm. out what kind of wrap you like. We have seaweed wrap and we have soy wrap. I'll take the soy wrap. Soy wrap, good choice. And what you get to do is pick out your protein. We have mm -hmm. crab stick, chicken, salmon, tuna. I'll take the tuna. Okay, and we also have proprietary wow. sauces. Okay, mm -hmm. do you like spicy, sweet? A little spicy. A little spicy. Our best seller is the spicy mayo. I'll take and it. And I'll go ahead and put that on there. You can have a seat and I'll bring that right out to you. Sharks, do not fear. We have food for you too. You're going to get to sample our other side of the menu, which is our featured rolls. He's making it right there. He's making it right now. Thank you, Yankee. You bet. Damon, thank, thank you. Enjoy. Mmm. Thank you, sir. There you go. Good sushi. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Hurry, hurry. Barbara, this is your custom roll. There you go. How nice is this? Yeah. Mmm. Very good. This is very good. So here's our question. Who wants to roll with us? Yen, how did you get started in this? You know, it's funny, we both grew up in the restaurant business. I actually said, I'm never gonna be in the restaurant business again. I'm never gonna work with family because I had to work with my parents growing up. Uh, 14 years later, uh, here I am standing next to my brother. Tell us about the economics of the business. Absolutely. Uh, so we started franchising two and a half years ago. We have sold 40 total. We've gotten 15 of them open. Two of them are corporate stores. So the first two stores are our own. We opened the first two. Since then, we've been focusing on franchising. Got it. And the franchisees, how long has the longest one been open? Uh, one has been open for right at about a year. And how are they doing? What are the economics of their business? So far, so good. Knock on wood. Are they profitable? They are. What's the average bill in the sit-down restaurant? Roughly, it's around 10 to $12. So she's good? Let's talk money. Yeah. You're offering me 12% of the corporate entity... Correct. ...that owns all the franchise flows for $1 million. That is correct. So what is this year's cash flow going to look like? Just on royalties, it's 250000 a year. Wow. What are your sales in the corporate stores? Oh, uh, one is running 600 something thousand, and the other one is running 400000 I would like to ask, I'm going to buy a franchise. Tell me what I have to pay you. OK, so the all-in cost of the franchise, including the $20,000 in franchise fee, the building out of the stores, buying the equipment, $270,000, $300,000 all in. Mm -hmm. So it now looks they're like, in business, but what yes. happens after that? You get a percentage of what they sell. That is a royalty. What's your royalty rate? Our royalty rate is seven percent. What are the compliance systems you have to make sure you're getting paid? Uh, we suck it right out of their checking account every week. So <laughs> you mean, in other words, they have to set up a corporate that account? That is correct. Guys, let me jump first. I, I like the idea. I like the concept, but that's a brutally competitive area. I don't want to be in the sushi business, so I'm out. I'm looking at it from a different perspective. I believe it's very well managed. I think your presentation's excellent. And you have the right combinations, a chef guy with the finance guy, that's perfect. The valuation is rich. It is probably a little bit high. We have had a letter of intent sent to us to buy 75% of the company. And that valuation came in at 6.6. .6. Ah. Are you going to do that deal? Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't think you yeah, should. Yeah, the reason why is because, number one, I don't want to lose that much of the company. Uh, really, honestly, with the opening of uh, four or five more stores, our royalties will, 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 will get us to... to Where's your geography do. right now? Are they all in Texas? No, they are in uh, California, Marina del Rey. Uh, we have one in Phoenix, Arizona, Tucson, yeah, I, Arizona. I, I got to tell you, man, you, you started a business a few years ago, and someone's offering you... 6.6 .6 million in cash, mm -hmm. be a multimillionaire overnight, and you're just talking about turning down like that. Power we to are. you, because I gotta tell you, the first time somebody offered me a million bucks, 
Yeah. Uh, it took me weeks to say no. I, I wanted to grab that check and right. run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, the profit that you make in food is in appetizers, liquor and or beverages, and desserts. There's no money in this, and you're selling fish, fresh fish. I think that the margin is going to be too low. I'm out. Okay. Great presentation. Uh, more importantly, great food. Um, I can't help you with the operation. I don't understand this particular food model. You're running a great, great business. Thank you. I'll bring all my buddies. We'll spend a lot of money. Okay. Thank you. But we're not going to spend a million dollars to invest today. I'm out. You have 15 locations in two and a half years. That is correct. Amazing. Thank you. I have recently gotten involved in two different food franchises, and I'm quickly learning how complicated it is. It can be. I have great respect for where you came from and how far you got. Thank you. But I mistrust it. I think your presentation is so buttoned up, uh -huh. and for my liking, a little too buttoned up. So I'm going to trust my gut on this. I'm out. OK. Um, I like your business. I like you guys. Thank you. So I'll make you an offer. I'll give you one million dollars. Whoa! Wow. But I want 22% of the business. And there's one caveat. Four sharks are out, and Peter and Yen have an offer on the table. I'll give you one million dollars. Whoa! Wow! But I want 22% of the business. There's one caveat. I want a monthly distribution prorated to the owners. In other words, the partners, obviously you are the majors, we get a check every month from the free cash that's coming from franchisees. Percentage we can negotiate in the future. That's the only request I have, and you get a million dollars. So you're giving them a value of $5 million on the business. Less than. Less than Less $5 than. million. Dollars. And right. on top of that, he's getting a check every month. Well, guys, I want to tell you something. I bring a lot of value to the table here. I know this space. Not okay. sushi rolling, but franchise mm -hmm. and economics and investing in this. I'll force some disciplines on you that you'll thank me for five years from now. <laughs> Can you, can you elaborate a little bit about what disciplines you might be alluding to? <laughs> All I'm saying is the only covenant I'm putting in place is, is to make you more money monthly. I am going to sit down with you and negotiate what portion of the free cash flow that comes from the royalty stream goes into your pocket every so month. So it goes into you guys it, it, collectively. Listen to what he just said, it goes into you collectively, Listen to what he right? just said. It goes he into goes, you collectively. No, listen to what he just said. He said, not only is going to undervalue your valuation I versus actually, the offer you, what you're on top of that, he's taking cash out of the business Mark up never, front. But Mark you, didn't think but it was structured. But he's taking structure. the cash out with you. That's correct. It's a sum prorated. Yeah. But Kevin, why would they have a firm offer for their business at 6.6 .6 and in their wildest, socky, instilled Robert, nightmare... Here's, here's what's great about it. It, acts, it, it actually million. doesn't matter what you think. I couldn't care less. It's what they think that matters. <laughs> no I kidding. made you an offer. It's very simple. I'll be your partner. I'm willing to give you a million dollars for 22% of the company. It's your vision. It's You still control it. You don't have to give up control. I don't want control. I just want a return on my investment. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Are you willing to come down on your, your equity portion to 15%? I would meet you in the middle. Okay. So you do it at 20%, yeah. roughly? Are you not uh, curious as to how much he wants to take out of that business monthly? He has to have some number in his head. No, I don't. I, to leave I, that open-ended? Because you are actually getting the lion's share of what comes out. That's true. So I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking that, you know, even if we got crammed down with this offer, uh, that we would still get some share of, of the Absolutely. distribution. Yeah. So can we have a standing offer Absolutely, so we can discuss? Yeah. Thank you. Standing offer. It's an aggressive valuation, Mr. O'Leary. I like it. So you, you like all it. you want to do is basically... All no. he wants to do is protect his downside. Exactly. Right? They're, they're giving up their upside because they he think they can get at least so a 15% return on their cash because that's what their discount was and their discounted cash flow. I don't need your help model. on this one, Mark. I figured this <laughs> one out myself. I'm not, I'm not giving you help. I'm just you know, saying... The key with these guys is I think they really need the cash. Do you want to punt? I think so. Do you want to punt? Yeah. Okay. I think we have other opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go.
before we answer, we just have a quick question. How are you going to help us with the real estate side, which has become very problematic for us? There is no easy answer to that. Even when you have 400 locations, every new one is a, is a paramount fight. There's no question about it. Right. Those are individual negotiations every right. single time. Now, you don't have a person doing your real estate right now, do you? That is correct. I am doing it. Yeah, but you know, you can't afford one until you're past 50 locations. You just can't. You're going to have to do it. Okay. That's the answer. That's fair, yeah. Because you're, you're still too small. Right. You're going to reduce your risk in some ways by growing a little slower, I think, whether you take me on or not as a partner. Right. If I were you, I'd take me on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peter, what do you want to do? If, if you feel like that's the right decision. We'll take your offer. Whoa. Wow. That was All right. Kevin, Fantastic. I even started to believe that crap. Thank, Thank you. Thank Looking you forward to it. sound like a great offer. Thank you so much. Looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Good job. You made a deal with the devil.